Hey guys, let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Cowboys Mike McCarthy vows to grow in 2024 return. Mike McCarthy returns as head coach of the Dallas Cowboys in 2024, but his coaching staff could undergo another offseason renovation. We are in position to learn and grow from this and build on it, McCarthy said Thursday. We have established a championship program. I know how to win. We will get over that threshold. McCarthy, 60, is 42-25 in four regular seasons with the Cowboys, including NFC East titles in 2021 and 2023, but he has only one playoff victory to show for it. Coming off a 48-32 home loss to the Green Bay Packers on Sunday in the wildcard round, Cowboys owner and general manager Jerry Jones had not spoken publicly about McCarthy's status and cancelled his weekly appearance on a local radio show. We've just got to continue to work. There's work to do. What's the direction? What's the schedule? Let's get to work, McCarthy said of his mindset after meeting with Jones. McCarthy said he understands figuring out the postseason failures is central to coaching in Dallas beyond this season. You don't get the opportunity to answer these questions until you take care of the regular season, McCarthy said. The Cowboys fired offensive coordinator Kellen Moore at the end of the 2022 season, with McCarthy becoming the primary play caller. Dallas faces uncertainty on the defensive side of the ball this month. Coordinator Dan Quinn is scheduled for interviews with the Washington Commanders and Seattle Seahawks on Thursday. Jones was able to boost Quinn's pay to entice him to stick around during recent offseason coaching cycles. But Quinn has already interviewed with the Carolina Panthers and Tennessee Titans and a fifth team, the Los Angeles Chargers, scheduled a session with Quinn on Friday. Asked about the emotion from vocal fans demanding changes under McCarthy again, the coach said he's only beginning the evaluation process of the team and staff. I clearly understand the emotion of all this and fans' perspective in all of this. It's very raw as I'm standing here before you. There definitely will be adjustments and changes made. But I think we have a lot to build off of, McCarthy said. McCarthy, who has guided the Cowboys to three straight 12-win seasons, has one year left on his contract. Dak Prescott, who threw for 4,516 yards and a league-leading 36 touchdowns while finishing with the best completion rate of his career, 69.5, in 2023, was among the Cowboys who backed McCarthy after Sunday's loss, he's been amazing, Prescott said. I don't know how there can be questions about his status, but I understand the business. I've had the season I've had because of him. This team has had the success that they've had because of him. And I understand it's about winning the Super Bowl, and that's the standard of the league and damn sure the standard of this place. I get it. Cowboys bungled messaging on Mike McCarthy. Regardless, the end result for Dallas and coach Mike McCarthy is that he apparently was staying as head coach, no matter what happened against the Packers. Even if the home team was caught flat-footed and unprepared for the coming storm of cheese. Even if they were embarrassed in their own building, giving up 48 points to the number 7 seed in the conference. Even if the game was never actually close. If that was the case, why didn't owner Jerry Jones say so before the wildcard loss to Green Bay? Why didn't he loudly shout down the impression he created when saying McCarthy would be assessed based on how the playoffs go? All Jerry had to do was to declare on 105.3 the fan last week that McCarthy is the coach and will continue to be the coach, win or lose or blow out against the Packers. The mixed signals created the impression that McCarthy wouldn't be back. By waiting three days to say otherwise, Jones has left plenty of Cowboys fans confused and upset that change isn't happening. At times, I wonder whether Jones is truly tormented by the annual failures of his football team, or whether he just acts that way to keep the fans fully engaged and prepared to plunk down cash for tickets and overpriced food and beer and other stuff. Is it all just one big grift, aimed at making fans think he really wants to win another Super Bowl while he deposits many more millions in the bank, regardless of what the team accomplishes? If that's the case, he still blew it. He allowed an assumption to take root that there would be a new coach. That McCarthy wouldn't be back. Maybe Jones considered it. As mentioned during PFT Live, I'd love to know how the deliberations went.
what factors were considered. Did Jerry explore other available candidates? Did he require McCarthy to make the case for his retention? Or does Jerry simply not want to pay McCarthy to not coach the team in 2024? Could it be that Jones still plans, if he indeed does, to make defensive coordinator Dan Quinn the successor to McCarthy, and that Jones realized that the change would not have gone over very well after Quinn's defense gave up 48 points? Julian Edelman names which team Bill Belichick should go to. Bill Belichick is a free agent head coach after he and the New England Patriots parted ways this offseason. It was a move that wasn't unexpected, but will still have league-wide ramifications, depending on Belichick's next coach. Although he remains connected to the Atlanta Falcons, one of his former players thinks he should coach a team that defeated him in the Super Bowl. Former Patriots wide receiver Julian Edelman chose the Dallas Cowboys as Belichick's next destination. Edelman explained that the Dallas Cowboys' need for defensive help is the main reason he would be a good fit. Bill has respect for people who do their jobs well, Edelman said. I don't think Bill wants to be the GM, but he will want input from someone he respects, and I think that would be a great fit for him. It would completely change the balance of power in the NFC if Belichick and the Eagles made this move. Philadelphia is a year away from a Super Bowl appearance and began the 2023 season with a 10-1 record before a late-year collapse that included a loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the wildcard round. So in theory, Belichick wouldn't have to do much to save the Eagles and would still be within easy reach of his family on the East Coast. The idea seems like a win-win, but it would require Philadelphia to fire Sirianni first. And you fan, what do you think of the Bill Belichick situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.